Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're gonna to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. So this is basically a mixture of beauty products, some nail products, and a couple of miscellaneous things at the end. So if you wanna see what I picked up, what's going on, what I found on my local Dollar Tree, just keep on watching. <music> I don't even know where to start so let's start off with the more like miscellaneous product and something that I might not even use I don't know why I always buy sunglasses when I literally never use them but it says it is ultraviolet protection it is just the Dollar Tree sunglasses these are just so cute I cannot pass up on them and they are like that pinky kind of lens and I j it's just they're just so cute I'm gonna try to figure out how to remove that but super annoying yeah there's a look at these sunglasses these are so cute let's keep them on for a little bit okay we're gonna feel the vibe so also I picked up a couple of like hair products this is a repurchase it is the Barbie detangler cotton candy scented product and again you guys saw this in a past Dollar Tree video so I had to repurchase because I am running low super cute it does it is meant to smooth and um, untangle your hair so super cute definitely had to repurchase that so from the brand scrunchie i picked up three different headbands these are so cute and they're, they're like that scrunchie kind of material as well it does give you a little bit of a pet talk on the back scrunchie has you covered with the basics you rely on every day for a little something extra on the go day to night whatever life calls for you got this this is so cute i did already wear the purple one and honestly, a lot of compliments went with that one. So yeah, definitely cannot wait to use this pink one. I also did pick up this like maroon kind of shade as well. These are so cute. And I've honestly had a lot of good luck with their hair like um, products. It does have that plasticness on the bottom and it does have like little teeth. What are these called? I don't know. But this is not like super tight on the head. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, so much so that I thought I was like, did I grab like a baby's headband or something? Because this literally doesn't hurt you at all. It also does have like this little moment here. Don't know what I'm describing. Don't know how to ex describe headbands. But super comfortable girl. It looked amazing on my hair amazing and also got a lot of compliments so i did pick it up in three different colors their super miscellaneous product is this that my boyfriend bought for me or did i buy this i don't remember but this is the adult shoe size 6 through 13 fruit ninja socks um and at that moment when i purchased these we had actually just been talking about fruit ninja i had just downloaded the game again and so it just felt like meant to be so i did pick up this product and then their low cut socks does come with a three pack in here and basically they're just fruit ninja socks so i've honestly i've been noticing that they started adding a lot of cool kind of socks with different um like logos like for example i think they have like kool-aid ones i think they have cheeto ones they have mario ones they're just so cute so if you're in the market for some socks these are adorable and i love like any like black socks too obviously throw on when i'm going to work or whatever especially if they're low cut socks these are so cute and again i've got had in, what i've had good luck with these socks from the dollar tree as well so let me show you because these are actually different i thought they were all just like very similar but basically you get this first pair which is a black with fruit ninja logos all over with like yellow little moments the middle sock actually doesn't say fruit ninja on it it's just a black and yellow sock and the last one is basically like the other sock, but it does come with purple kind of um, designs on it. So very interesting, cute. I did pick up two more nail polishes, not that I needed any more because I just placed a huge Chamisei order. I, I literally picked up so many nail polishes, including the one I'm wearing today is from Chamisei, but I guess I needed a black and a red nail polish from the dollar tree these are from the brand color vibe and i've actually talked about these before I really much enjoy these nail polishes and they drive down so quickly i love and these um do come with hardeners and it says it's just their nail polish this red one is in the shade snatched and also we have this one and this one's called back to black so so cute definitely I guess could use these type of shades in my collection. Actually, the one that I have on my nails today, if you were wondering, it was Cito Nail Lacquer. Amazing. And this one here is in the shade Tiger's Eye. Love it. Okay. I also did pick up these, which originally I had picked up the blue ones. And what are they, you're asking? Let me tell you. These are the Makeup Blender sponges from the Dollar Tree. So these 
not sure who the actual brand is but they had the blue ones and then the pink ones which i'm actually just going to keep in the packaging i might just take these to work because i don't think i'm going to use these i might keep one um but yeah it does come with three pieces in here originally i had found the blue set but i really wanted the pink one so this is what we have today cute little sponges if you're on the market they have them at the dollar tree just sworn that i picked up some like heart shaped sponges recently so i think they're like the same kind of material Let's talk about beauty products we have some products from the clean line um i did purchase a couple of like foundations in a deeper shade because the ones that i own are uh, more on that light side so first off let's talk about the blush we have the be pure clean beauty lip color and cream blush duo in the shade of fun in the sun as you guys recall from my um full face of dollar tree situation um i picked up a different shade it's more like a pink tone and i mentioned like i don't know if they have other shades they do so this is the other shade that they have this is the one that i've spoken about before not sure the names again i don't know why they don't like put them in the back but there's the other shade more on the mauve side more like toned down versus this new shade which is definitely more vibrant there's the shade of fun in the sun and then the other shade that i have so let me go ahead and swatch definitely that same kind of formula as the other one really nice and pigmented nice and creamy and then there's a look at the past one so whatever is your vibe these are actually really good really pigmented and i've spoken about them before so i cannot wait to use this shade here it looks stunning as for this product this is the be pure clean beauty glow foundation in the shade golden bronze so if you guys saw my past dollar tree full face i used i did like two this is the one that i use in that full face of dollar tree this one here is in the shade nude which is actually a really good match however it was just a tad light so i picked up this shade in the shade golden bronze so we're gonna go ahead and test these again and see which one works out for me again there's a comparison of the two shades i'm gonna go ahead and swatch nude first there it is next let's do this one here Ooh. all right there's the color difference of those two on the other hand i had this one here which is way too light for me this is from bpr and this is their hydrating tinted moisturizer so i did go ahead and purchase it in a deeper shade um the one that i had originally was medium so i went ahead and picked up tan so we are going to compare these two let me go ahead and swatch them for you there's the side to side comparison of these two right, so there's the shade medium this one's definitely way thicker than that last foundation that we talked about and then let's take a look at tan honestly oh my gosh this looks like a bronzer girl it's so dark you can definitely use that as a bronzer but that's not gonna work as a foundation for me a couple of lip glosses from the dollar tree both of these are actually from be pure first off we have the floral lip gloss and this one is coconut scented it says apply lip gloss on lips as often as needed or desired so there's a close-up look at that this one looks stunning i also had seen this recently again i almost repurchased it because i thought i hadn't picked it up but girl this is so beautiful it has like a little flower inside <gasps> Ooh, that looks stunning i have to smell it i love coconut mm, definitely does smell like coconut it's just a clear gloss but oh my gosh this is so cute we also have another floral lip gloss but this one here is vanilla scented and it is that roller gloss situation this one says turn the bottle upside down and shake before first use apply lip gloss on lips as often as needed or desired so this one says to turn it upside down i'm guessing so the product can like move down i don't know but oh so cute ah <gasps> that is adorable which is your favorite let me know i really like both of them to leave it facing down for a while because nothing's coming out but this is so cute and lastly we did come across a couple of these pop rugrats situations did you guys recall from my collection videos if you guys remember let me go ahead and grab it i do have the chucky lip gloss which my boyfriend bought for me a long time ago from where was it target i believe or walmart so there's a look at the chucky one 
but they did have a bunch of these um tommy ones at the dollar tree so these are again the rugrats times pop well pop times rugrats high shine lip gloss in the shade tommy and that's basically what we get but this one here is in a like milky white kind of situation opposed to the chucky which is that pink tone I remember um when this first came out a long time ago i don't even know how long ago and people were saying that it was creepy because it's like literally its head on top of like a stick it was just weird but yeah there's a look at the tommy one the chucky one these are so cute so let me go ahead and swatch this so basically you twist off the head and there's a look at the wand Ooh, it's actually a really nice color there's a look at tommy and i'll swatch chucky just in case i start adding these at the dollar tree as well this one's definitely more pinky tone both of them are honestly really nice and like the name implies high shine okay guys so those were the last products that i had in my dollar tree haul i hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts on any of these products are you guys going to pick up anything let me know in the comments down below i'm really excited to try out the makeup products and the socks and such and all the other products that i picked up so definitely stick around i'm going to be updating you guys on these products in future videos i'm also going to be doing more full faces of dollar tree so definitely stick around subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next one bye